Hey guys, Ollie here from Local Knowledge. And with the emergence of the deep drop fishery that's about to happen in California, you know, starting April 1st, 2023, we can fish for bottom fish with unrestricted depth. And that's gonna mean if you get serious about this, you're gonna wanna learn to either rig your own deep drop rig or find a source for them. And then also probably take that kite reel that you've been using for bluefin fishing all summer and fall and put it to work to catch some really tasty bottom fish. This isn't just a Southern California rig. This rig will work all over the world. We've used it in Mexico for snowy grouper. We've used it in Florida for snowy grouper tile fish, uh, Louisiana, a lot of places. So it's a pretty straightforward rig. You are gonna need to buy some components to make it, but most of them you can either find in your tackle store and some of the specialty ones I dialed up on Amazon, took me a few minutes to find. I'm gonna start with the basics. We're gonna use Seaguar fluorocarbon, 130 pound. Seems kind of heavy. The reason I like to use the heavier leader is because it just doesn't chafe up as much. I can keep using it, using it, reusing it before I get a break. And sometimes we'll even use heavier leader for the main line. But most of what I've been experimenting with has been in 130 pound, top to bottom. So you're also gonna need some components. And this is not my normal rigging box. Normally I've got a box full of crimps and swivels and all that good stuff. I've kind of assembled this just for making deep drop rigs. The main components of this are gonna be three-way swivels. There's two different styles here. These are from a company called Tsunami Tackle. See, these are the 1-0s. They're fancy, they got glow beads on them. They're super, super nice, but they do cost uh, about a buck a piece. You lose a rig with three of these on it or two of these on it, you're gonna be bummed out. The other way to go is with this, and this is just an offshore three-way swivel. And what this does is it's just a swivel that's basically been mated around the neck of another swivel. Does exactly the same thing, keeps your stuff from twisting up. These cost like 30 cents each. Found them on Amazon, bought a giant bag of like 50 of them for a few bucks. The other things you're gonna need is a top swivel. And for your top swivel, this is what's gonna go on to your swivel, your snap swivel on your rod. I got ball bearing swivels. These ones here come from VMC. These work great, I love them. Any good ball bearing swivel will work. You're gonna need a snap swivel for the bottom. I have got fancy ball bearing ones that VMC makes that are really nice. I don't wanna use those here because I just wanna go with something cheaper. This is only gonna hold a sinker. It's not my offshore trolling rig. These are non ball bearing snap swivels. And then these mini crimps. So I love aluminum crimps. A lot of guys like steel crimps. The aluminum to me doesn't rust and I just don't feel like I get chafed off as much because it's a softer metal. These little crimps are awesome because you're gonna be crimping a ton and you only have to crimp once to get it done instead of having to hit that crimp two or three times if you don't have a bench crimper. And then, of course, you need the pointy things. These are VMC 9.0, let's see the part number here, is a 7358BN. This is a billfish hook and it's an inline circle. It's a really big hook also and this hook gets the job done without me catching any junk, and I'm gonna tweak it a little bit. I'll show you that later on. To get started, on my rigging bench at home, I actually have a C-Deck ruler that goes on here. I don't have that here, but I kind of pre-measure everything because I'm anal and I want all my rigs to look the same, and there's just good lengths that work for stuff. So the first thing I'm gonna do, we're gonna start at the top of the deep drop rig. You need about seven inches of leader this box is about seven, eight inches. I'm just gonna rough it out since I don't have my tape measure with me. Use my pliers here. Actually, I use scissors. I get a cleaner cut and I'm gonna be making a lot of cuts. Okay, this is my top piece. I'm gonna take my swivel. Well, first I'm gonna take a crimp and these crimps are sized for 130 pound. I'm gonna slide it through here. I'm gonna just make a standard little loop and the good thing about this is we are not catching 600 pound black marlin. Just a quick and dirty crimp job totally works. I'm not gonna spend too much time looking for perfection like I would on something where I'm gonna be fighting a fish at leader for long or hours potentially. So that's crimped, right? Important thing here. Let's go ahead and we'll rig one up with, we'll do one with the fancy swivel and we'll do one with the budget swivel. On this one, it doesn't matter as long as you're crimping your main line to the top ones. This is gonna be your arm that's your drop for your bait. Take another crimp, slide it on. You are gonna be really good at crimping and or have arthritis by the time you're done making a bunch of these. 
Get it right about there. You just want a little bit of line poking out the other side so you don't have to trim it or anything. Okay. Clip your snap swivel here. Here's your first drop lead right below it. I'm gonna grab some more leader. And my in between my hooks, so my leads that are gonna come off of here are gonna be about six inches long and have a hook on the end. So I want to allow about 15 inches between my rigs. And why I do that is so that my hooks can't come off the line and grab each other on the way down and foul up, if that makes sense. A lot of times I'll even make this a little bit longer just so I don't think about my hook coming up and grabbing my main line. And another tip too, on your rod, you, you can use an electric reel, you can use a manual reel. I use a short shot of 100 pound, like 15 feet um, above this that goes to my snap swivel because a lot of times when you hit the bottom, this rig's gonna sit down in a rock and your leader above your rig will actually get wrapped around something, get chafed and break off. So you wanna have 100, 130 pound above it as well. Again, fluorocarbon, we know it's not cheap, but it really does provide that abrasion resistance. And with a rig like this that you're gonna to get to use again and again and again, it really makes sense. So just another quick loop, and I'm gonna make a crimp here, boom. Now let's mix it up just for fun. We're gonna now, for the next drop, I usually use one for the whole rig, one style, but I'm just gonna mix it up so you see it here. We're gonna use the budget swivel on these ones. Whoops, dropped that, but I got another one handy. I want to put my uh, leader on the top of the vertical swivel, if that makes sense. It's going to be the bigger swivel of the two. Going to come through again here, and you can see, like, once you get this down, you're making these crimps in no time at all. Just make sure you center the crimp in your hand crimpers. Boom. That's all you need. We're crimped. We're strong. Now you can see I've got my two swivel rigs here. I've got my swivel at the top, which is going to go on my snap swivel again. I've got my first fancy swivel in here, three-way, so it'll spin around. The reason you want all these spinning uh, swivels in your rig is so when you bring these fish up from these depths, three, four, five, six, seven, even a thousand feet, you know, you want that thing to have a lot of spin to it so you don't spin the fish off the hooks. Now, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make a two-hook rig, but you can just continue this process and make as many are legal in your area. On the bottom, I usually leave a little bit more. It's like up here, I've got like a seven inch section. On the bottom, I like the 15 inch section just to get this rig up off the bottom a little more so it doesn't hook the bottom because a lot of times you'll get snagged by your hooks actually hitting the bottom. Okay, now we're at the bottom of this two hook rig. We're just gonna put a snap swivel on and that's what we're gonna use to attach our weight. Now we've got our rig. You can kind of see how it's gonna go. Sinker here, snap swivel there. Let's lay that out. And now we're gonna make a couple of drop arms. Those are gonna be about six inches long. And we want all this stuff sized appropriately so they don't, it doesn't tangle in itself going down. So cut one, now you know the length. Let's just take another one here, cut one. Okay, now we've got two drop arms. Right, now here comes the trick with these hooks. As you can see, inline circle hook, really good for billfish because it doesn't hook them anywhere but the corner of the mouth. We're talking about deep drop species and we're trying to get fish to hook themselves at a much deeper depth than what you would be chasing a billfish. So I like to take these hooks and I just offset them a little bit by twisting them. And now you can see that that hook point is offset and what that'll do is it'll make this hook a little more snaggy. That's gonna help your odds of actually hooking fish. And remember, these guys are hooking themselves down deep. You need every advantage you can get. So you're not wasting time on each drop. Gonna go like this. Crimp. You got your lead there. I'm gonna make two of them real quick just cause it's easier to kinda get in the swing of things when you're doing the same operation over again. Like I was saying, a lot of times if I'm doing this at home and I know I'm gonna have you know, 12 or 15 leads on six rigs or seven rigs, I'm just gonna sit here. Probably the first thing I do is knock out all my hook drops. Okay, now, of course, very straightforward. We're gonna put these onto the main line. And the good thing about these two, three hook rigs is if you start going super deep, like some of those black cod are caught out all the way out to two, 3,000 feet, and you can use more hooks 
you can just daisy chain them together with the snap swivel at the bottom. Instead of attaching the weight, put another rig on there. What I have found goofing around with deep dropping is usually most of your bites are going to come on your bottom couple of hooks anyway. And there's really no need to have 15 or 20 hooks. We're not commercial fishing. We're trying to catch dinner. Another quick crimp onto the three-way swivel. And boom, you're rigged up. Everything lays out nicely. Your hooks can't catch each other on the way down. This has got lots of movement to it, lots of room to spin. You're gonna need a lot of these if you're gonna be deep dropping. This is a three pound lead. You find these at most tackle shops. If not, you can also get them online. In terms of bait to use when doing this, we have tried everything. Uh, squid, strip baits, live sardines, whatever. And for my money and the guys that I fish with, nothing outfishes this. And this is Berkeley Gulp. We love the grubs. They come in a bunch of different sizes. Um, we like the glow. Seems like it gets bit a little more. I don't know, definitely can't hurt. And I'm not gonna thread one on here because I don't want my hands to stink. But you just take it and you thread the head on just like you would, like if you were rigging a worm for a bass, leave the hook exposed, as much hook as you can exposed. Take a couple of these. I generally mix the colors up. I found if they're eating red crabs and spitting those up, that they do like the nuclear chicken. The white works really good. Um, I usually do a couple of different sizes. It seems like some days I get more fish on the smaller ones. Some days I get more fish on the bigger ones. But this is a great rig that you can also use for your regular rock fishing. This will work in 125 feet of water. It's a nice and clean rig. When I'm done with these, I wrap them up and I store them, well first I'll wash them really good because I don't want the things to rust. And then I wrap them up really carefully, put the swivels in the same spot as you wrap these. And like, especially when they're new, I'll just take a wire tie. I bought a whole roll of this stuff on Amazon. I do have an Amazon problem. It's great for finding weird little things like this for rigging. Boom, throw it in a Ziploc, whatever ready to go. I will reuse these rigs until they're lost. I mean, reuse them and reuse them and reuse them. That's it in a nutshell. Just some basic rigging tools and you're in business. Hopefully this rig works for you and it catches you a bunch of delicious fish tacos. If you like our channel, please subscribe. Leave us a comment too. Let us know what you'd like to see next. We really appreciate your feedback and it helps shape the next videos that we're going to put out. Thanks so much.